Welcome back to Primetime News. Exclusive footage this evening of the building where police were trapped for hours following a shootout with men armed with high-powered weapons. The incident happened in East Kingston on Sunday. As TVJ's Kirk Wright reports, the officers were left traumatized and are receiving counseling. On the police guard on Tuesday, we went to see the building in which the cops from the Kingston Eastern Police Division were pinned down by gunmen on Sunday for more than three hours on the weekend. This eight by 10 feet unfinished structure was the sole shield for six policemen who came under fire from gunmen on Oliver Road in East Kingston. The more than 40 bullet holes we counted on the outside of the building alone tell the dreadful tale. The building perched on the hill gave the gunmen an advantage. Now seven bullet holes in this area alone and this is just a few of the many bullet holes in this building where six police officers took cover when gunmen fired at them for hours they took cover right here one policeman was here trying to shield off the, the gunmen and this is where a bullet actually flew over his head now this should give the public an understanding of the trauma the policemen faced while they were here and gunmen hailed bullets at them. Our police sources say the gunmen were close enough to the trapped policemen in the building to have been taunting them that they were all trapped and were all going to die. We were showed some of the strategic points the gunmen used while shooting their high powered weapons at the police, including the rooftops in nearby yards. The police called for backup. Their colleagues from Mobile Reserve responded but had trouble getting to them. All six police officers were rescued with minor injuries. The police say they picked up hundreds of spent shells after. The six policemen had gone to Oliver Road after receiving intelligence that men from Jarrett Lane were planning to attack persons from Oliver Road who were returning from a funeral. The police say the situation was so tense, Indicom investigators had to be escorted into the area the following day. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.